Hello, welcome to Game Ready Reviews E3 2018 press conference review, and I'm talking about Nintendo, and I just finished watching it, and I've never been so hyped about anything in my entire existence of being a human. So yes, let's start from the beginning, even though I desperately want to start at the end. Let's go. Demon X Machina looked awesome. It was a great way to open a lot of like transformer looking things mechs going at each other i thought it was zone of vendors but it was too mech like it was too machine zone of vendors more streamlined but i it was a great way to open it was very mysterious but it looked great then they showed the xenoblade chronicles expansion that looked awesome it made me want to play xenoblade chronicles a lot you put <laughs> reggie is a beautiful biracial butterfly yeah like parks and rec okay so Reggie came up, he talked about Pokemon, Pikachu, and Eevee. Whoopity doo. We already know all of that. Then they showed Mario Party, which I always poo-poo Mario Parties, but this one looked like they tried some new and innovative things. That's cool. I mean, if you've got two Switches, then you can play it. Then they showed Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm not sh I'm, I'm sure this is a sequel. Three houses. Yeah, I said Three Houses. What do you thought I said? The houses? No, three. It looks like the, because you're handwriting, but it's three. It's three houses. I didn't know if it was a prequel to the last one where they had three different games you can play, and they just put them all together and called it three houses, but I'm sure it's just a sequel. My brother will correct me, though. Um, they have Fortnite on Switch. I already knew that. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, they announced Overcooked 2. We haven't heard it anywhere else. I hope this isn't a Nintendo exclusive. I don't think it will be. But if it is, then wow. But I loved Overcook. I can't believe the only place talking about it was at the Nintendo conference. Unless they release it somewhere else and I haven't seen. Very hyped on Overcook 2. This is great. Killer Queen Black. If you haven't played Killer Queen, I've only heard amazing things. I found out my arcade down the road has Killer Queen. I joined their Facebook group. I've been wanting to go for like a month. And I haven't found time to do it. It is one of those addicting arcade games ever where you're trying to basically get in each other's bases or something. You're killing each other, trying to do it. It's very addicting. It's very fun. 4v4 play. They're going to have it on the Switch where you can have two separate Switches and play it. I cannot wait to play this game. Blah, blah, blah. Octopath Traveler. Okay. They should Starlink again. Okay. All right, and then they went through like a bunch of games in rapid succession. Arena of Valor, Minecraft, Sushi Striker, Mario Rabbit, Dragon Ball Z Fighter, Captain Toad Treasure Striker, FIFA 18 and 19, Ark, Wasteland 2, Paladins, Fallout Shelter, Dark Soldier Remastered, Wolfenstein, and World Ends With You. I can't believe World Ends With You is going to be on the Switch. My brothers loved it. I've always wanted to play it. Now I can. And it's going to have all the DLC added. That is awesome. And then they finally showed Smash Brothers. Whew! Called Smash Brothers Ultimate. Has every single Smash Brothers character from every single game in the past. They added Riley to it. They added Daisy to it. And some dark versions of Icarus and another one. And Whew, I just couldn't believe it. The Amiibos that I have will work on it. The Amiibos that I had on Wii U will transfer over. If you bought a GameCube controller for the Wii U, it transfers to the Switch. You can use it on the Switch now. Wow. Unbelievable. Pokemon Trainers back. Ice Climbers are back. Why is the Ice Climbers in so long? Toon, not Toon, Young Link is back. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Um, I... Just so many characters and Riley is a new character. I just cannot believe it. This was an amazing conference. It was paced well. It was fast paced. They slow down for a little while. Boom, they're right back into it. It was a perfect conference. Perfect. Like, it was great. And I I thought it was amazing. I thought it was well done. And Snake is back. Snake is back. I can't believe it. Uh, wow. It was it was a perfect conference. Out of all the conferences, it was the most perfect. And even if you don't really care about most of the games, the way it was structured, the way it was done, was perfect. 
They got out of their own ways and they just ended it. And they ended it with great reveals, too. You can't say that about the other conferences. So, yeah, Nintendo's my top choice. Nintendo wins E3. Nintendo wins E3 2018. It ends with a bang, just like their press conference. Thank you for watching Game Rating Reviews. Look at these press conferences. Honey, stop looking at me. I can't end it if you're staring at me. And I'll see you at my E3 post show where I wrap everything up and talk about it. Nintendo on top. Then I'll go through the rest of my list at the post show and talk about how the entire experience affected moi.